I'm Ashton Addison from EventChain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Igneous Terranus, the head of communications at Bybit Exchange. Igneous, welcome to the show. And it is a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you for having me, Ashton. Very happy to be on the show. Likewise, I'd love to start by just hearing a bit from you about Bybit and what makes it so special among cryptocurrency exchanges that so many people are now using the platform. Right. Um, Bybit is, uh, uh, like at the moment, we are specializing in derivatives. We are one of the fastest growing uh, derivatives uh, uh, exchange. And uh, uh, what we really proud uh, pride ourselves upon is just uh, uh, open interest and, and the liquidity that we present uh, as, as a really kind of like great uh, value added for our traders. So at the moment, according to the latest numbers, we have already surpassed uh, CME as the second largest uh, uh, BTC uh, exchange. And uh, in, in terms of open interest, uh, BTC open interest, we are actually uh, ahead of uh, everyone. And for ETH, we are currently the second behind the market leaders, which I shall not name here. <laughs> but uh, we, we're catching up fast. Uh, so uh, I think in Q1, we had a 34% increase, whereas the leaders wow. had a 9% decrease. So, mm. you know, maybe in a couple of quarters, we will be taking, overtaking them as well. That's very exciting. And yeah, it seems like, you know, Bitcoin has had such a year so far with 2021. It seems like the last few weeks, the rest of the cryptocurrency exchanges and those secondary leaders are starting to catch up. And it seems like everything is exploding, you know, with the Coinbase listing, it seems like mainstream is sort of noticing the cryptocurrency industry. And I think it's like a good time for Bybit. Um, and I know that your team is based in Singapore. I did speak with Ben, the CEO, uh, last year, and you were in explosive growth then. So I can imagine since then, uh, it's been growing even more. Um, and you mentioned that you're the fastest growing and you've been expanding operations beyond Singapore. Um, can you talk about where you've been expanding? I know you have more offices now and, and where are you guys at with that right now? Right. Uh, we kind of like uh, taking a decentralized approach, just like the industry we are in. So we have multiple uh, locations in Asia as well as like uh, um, some kind of like uh, remote contributors in places like uh, Europe and beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, we have recently kind of like uh, 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 onboarded a number of ambassadors who are uh, working on our behalf and, uh, you know, uh, speaking to uh, customers, traders, and uh, doing kind of like some of these uh, uh, educational material for, uh, you know, the, the next 10% uh, of, of kind of like the, uh, the, the global population in terms of uh, 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 the exposure to crypto. Um, so our main focus is still uh, in Asia, but we mm -hmm. have a, a very sizable kind of a user base in, in Europe as well. At the moment, it's about 50-50. Um, but yeah, Asia is, is our home base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because the people that are in North America, um, you know, they they don't know that like the Asian markets really are just growing, I believe, so much faster. And it's just it's a numbers game, right, as well. And, and now expanding into the other Southeast Asian countries. And I saw that you're adding more trading pairs with Japan, the Korean one. Um, are you seeing a lot of growth right now in Asia? And are you continually adding, uh, you know, more tools and options for Asian traders? Yeah, a Asia is just like being <laughs> growing tremendously. Um, I think sort of like most of the crypto media are uh, North America based. So like uh, it, it, it's understandable that sort of like the majority of coverage do come from, uh, you know, are about North American exchanges. Mm -hmm. But uh, Asia, like, you know, uh, Asia owns like maybe 70% uh, or more of the uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, money hash rate. And uh, we are looking at kind of like a... a just investors and traders who have been in the space for much longer than kind of like some of the uh, newly onboarded uh, uh, traders in, in North America. Um, yeah, uh, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, we, we are just looking at uh, uh, explosive growth. And uh, I think it's just kind of like really uh, uh, kudos to our, our strategic team and, and our product team and uh, really kind of our IT team in anticipating that kind of growth. And they're really mm -hmm. kind of building anti-fragile uh, measures and uh, kind of expanded our capacity to handle those uh, traffic. So like we, like till this day, uh, you know, uh, th th three years in a row, we haven't had uh, any downtime uh, wow. and our services are available 99.99%, which is the uh, service availability of, of Bitcoin itself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that we are really proud of. That is amazing, Igneous. I didn't know that. Um, and that's very impressive. And you did mention 
uh, that you surpassed the CME to become the second largest futures exchange for Bitcoin. That's a feat in of itself. So congratulations to that. Uh, and you were just Thank talking you. about the, the strength of your team. Uh, I'm curious, what are you attributing to that success of growing so quickly? Um, is it also just the Bitcoin price or is it some internal measures that you guys have really f honed in on? Yeah, I think it's 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 a confluence of things. Of course, like uh, we can never discount the very fact that uh, we are, we are in a historic bull run and uh, one that uh, is even catching the mainstream's eyes. But like I think kind of like our team have had the foresight to kind of foresee this is an eventuality and we have been prepared for it, uh, preparing ourselves for it. So we we expanded our, our server kind of capacity way ahead of the uh, the actual kind of like. Uh, uh, of explosion in, in, in terms of traffic and uh we also kind of like were building all those infrastructure like in you know every market that we enter we make sure that uh, uh the, the traders in those markets are supported so we provide in language support uh in like a, a, a more than a dozen of languages and and we have kind of a local community community managers talking to our users uh all the time i think one thing that um that kind of like the marketers do not do enough and one thing that really will just like make uh we uh, make us much better at what we do is just to talk to customers more mm -hmm. uh, lots of times they will have the exact insight we need they will tell us the exact pain point we need to address and sometimes they will even give us the exact words that we can kind of market uh, our solution back to them mm -hmm. yeah i definitely believe it's great to be community oriented listen to your customers and support them and i know in the past people that have had issues with exchanges or they put in tickets and if that takes too long to to resolve those then that's a, there's a lot of negative uh, press around that. So I think supporting your customers should come first. Yeah, that, about that. Uh, one thing that I, we are really proud of is uh, uh, we we make a, a deliberate effort to get to any uh, customer query within three minutes. So wow. if you sort of like submit a ticket on, 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 uh, in the in the health help desk, you know, multilingual 24 seven help desk, you will get a response in three minutes. And then mm -hmm. we uh, endeavor to resolve it uh, like no more than 24 hours. Lots of times it's, it's much faster. Mm -hmm. So this is one thing that we really kind of stress. And uh, sometimes like maybe if I have some questions about kind of like our, our platform, instead of kind of like go asking a colleague, I would just like type into <laughs> the, 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 the help desk bar because like <laughs> that actually assures a faster uh, resolution because like, you know, our colleagues are very busy and like mm -hmm. just to deal with kind of like all the uh, 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 just inflow of, of traffic. But uh, uh, because this is something that we have uh, committed ourselves to just to kind of like get to our customers needs and requirements as soon as possible. So like that three minute thing is is something that we really uh, uh, kind of like have, 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 have a standard upon. Definitely, that's amazing. I did not know that. Uh, so congratulations to that. That's very impressive. And I've had issues before on other exchanges where it's taken days, days, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. So that, that's amazing to hear. And I'm curious, uh, and I'm guessing this is something that your team has, has put a lot of effort into, but you know, with exchanges in the past, there's always been uh, you know, security flaws sometimes where the integrity of the exchange goes down or people lose their funds or their data you know how important is that for bybit in protecting the security of uh, of the users funds and their data and just the servers overall yeah uh security is of course the most important thing like as uh we we are currently still a centralized uh, uh exchange and uh, you know the, uh that the, the, the danger that comes with that, of course, there's a, a single point of, uh, of, of failure. But mm -hmm. at the same time, we kind of like, we, we have already started to uh, implement those kind of decentralized ways. So we use multi-signature mm -hmm. wallet to kind of like ensure that uh, uh, no like a uh, single isolated event could uh, cause any harm. And also uh, our, all our funds currently, all 100% of our funds are stored in uh, our offline code wallet. Mm. And uh, uh, that just kind of like just ensures the, the security and, and like uh, all the funds are safeguarded. Um, we have, uh, well, knock on wood, we have never had any uh, um, kind of like a, a security uh, event where uh, our funds are stolen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, and, and we like we have always kind of really been uh, focused on kind of like uh, just uh, strengthening up our, our, our security posture and we actually spend uh, uh, around 25 percent of, of our budget on security which wow. is uh, uh, above the industry average i think the industry average is but between about 10 to 15 percent mm -hmm. so we almost double that mm, that's good to know and that that is quite comforting and you know uh it, with 
with the centralized exchanges, there is that single point of failure. And with smart contracts, you know, there's that open code and you don't really know how secure it is until it gets hacked, you know, because uh, so it's good to know that uh, that there's been no issues and that, you know, uh, obviously there's a lot of people that trust Bybit right now being being the number two in, in volume there. And in terms of the growth right now, I are you guys doing any cool interesting marketing and advertising to help expand you know i recently saw ftx exchange just bought put their name on a nba arena which is pretty cool uh for north america and hopefully that expands the exchanges out into north america are you guys doing anything interesting like that or how are you mainly marketing to new users yeah i think uh what ftx did was very cool and uh, like uh, even though kind of like uh um, you know, exchanges, they kind of tend to have uh, this kind of level of competition. But I think overall, uh, we are not competing amongst uh, ourselves. There's 98% uh, of uh, uh, the general population that haven't uh, uh, had any mm -hmm. exposure to crypto yet. So we are going like we, we, we there's, there's so much kind of like uh, area of, uh, of just like collaboration to go for the leg legacy guys. In terms of marketing, we actually sort of like uh, uh, started uh, earlier than the FTX kind of like uh, uh, foray into sports so we uh late last year we actually um sorry uh we, we had a uh a, a, a partnership with uh bundesliga uh football team borussia dortmund which is one mm -hmm. of the best teams in the world mm -hmm. and uh you know uh, if, if we had them online they would have told us they are the best uh, football clubs and the most uh, passionate football clubs in the world and uh yeah uh we've been getting a uh, very very positive uh, feedback from our customers because uh borussia dortmund they really kind of like stand for this uh, uh youthful uh enthusiasm and you know uh, players mm -hmm. like holland and sancho and uh you know they are uh, barely like 20 and they are scoring like 34 goals in, in, in wow. 38 matches. And that we think kind of like the the uh, philosophy and just like the identity behind the Borussia Dortmund is really kind of like uh, one thing that we identify with. We also have the same color. So oh, yeah. Very cool. And that's great to know. Yeah. And I think those kind of partnerships, it seems like uh, the crypto is sort of creeping into sports and it, it's becoming gamified in the same kind of ways. So I think that's sort of a, uh, a good route to go into with these kind of partnerships and i also saw that you guys have great partnership programs and, and affiliate programs a lot of the cryptocurrency influencers seem to be using bybit you know some of my best friends swear by using bybit um, and they have brought a lot of their friends in the people that are already involved with cryptocurrency but are sort of looking for an exchange to choose have, have chosen bybit through that route so has that been a successful uh, marketing tactic as well yeah, definitely. Our affiliate program as well as, uh, uh, like, we also have ambassadors in, in uh, a number of uh, uh, markets. And, and we, uh, we also have a very strong kind of referral program. Um, I, I, think in, I think one thing that we really do well is just uh, not only do, do we provide kind of like a really clean and sleek uh, uh, user interface for our traders, but also we actually have a very good uh, backend dashboard for our affiliates. Mm -hmm. So uh, they can see kind of like uh, uh, the performance of, of their uh, ads, the performance of, of their marketing campaign uh, with, with just 100% uh, transparency and they can see kind of what is performing well. They can even do A-B testing uh, in in terms of how their campaigns are doing. So mm -hmm. I think, yeah, the, 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 the philosophy, the principle behind it is just like we really take care of uh, anyone who is a customer or who work with us. We just like basically we think of put, put ourselves into their shoes and what we like to see, uh, you know, as as an interface or as kind of like mm -hmm. a, uh, the touch point with the, with the platform. And then we provide them with just that. Definitely. And that's great to hear. And I was looking at a few of the other exchanges and I noticed that more recently, you know, in this bull market, there these exchanges are very lucrative and they're starting to give back a lot and there's charitable initiatives, charities being opened up. And I'm curious, is Bybit taking some of those initiatives to help overall in charitable ways or, you know, with the pandemic and in other ways? Definitely. Um last year during our uh, uh in uh inauguration like the, 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 the very first uh, um, uh, biggest trading uh, uh, competition that we had at BSOT, we donated a, a large portion of, uh, of the proceeds to UNICEF to combat kind of like uh, 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 the uh, 
the, the downside uh, children uh, experienced during uh, as a result of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this year, we are also looking at uh, uh, multiple uh, charitable organizations. And uh, yeah, we, we've been working with Borussia Dortmund down there and as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so like we have hosted uh, football clinics in uh, multiple uh, countries to help kind of like kids who are negatively impacted to, you know, rediscover joy in sports, in kind of like football. And uh, uh, yeah, we are also looking at uh, more opportunities uh, around the globe. And, uh, uh, you know, as, as a crypto company, we, of, we sort of try to prioritize those uh, um, uh, charities that accept uh, cryptocurrency. But uh, if it's uh, a worthy cause, we are open to really anything. So yeah, uh, you will be hearing more on that end in terms of charity, because we think it is important uh, to give back to the society when we have success so that, uh, you know, uh, everyone uh, gets to enjoy the fruit of uh, uh, this uh, our revolution. Definitely, Ignis, and that's, and that's great to hear. And we are running short on time, but I want to talk about the future of Bybit. And if you have any hints into what do traders have to look forward to in terms of things that are coming next uh, and throughout the rest of this year. Um, I think, yeah, uh, we, we have like uh, lots of uh, exciting uh, news uh, currently being worked on. Um, um, but yeah, that, that in, uh, we can't sort of like give the exact detail yet, but I can give you some hint as to uh, what's coming. Um, we we are going to expand uh, dramatically in terms of our offering. So currently, we have uh, uh, you know perpetual contracts and uh, and the quarterly futures, but uh, yeah, we will be looking at other derivatives. We will be looking at spot. We will be looking at uh, uh, you know DeFi as well, and mm -hmm. uh, all those are coming in the next uh, uh, quarter or two. So yeah, not 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 too much detail I can go into right now, but uh, stay tuned, and we will be having a lots of uh, exciting news for everyone. That's very exciting, and yeah, I was looking for DeFi on the uh, on the site, and I know it's exploding right now, and like there's just a lot of capital and value being locked into these decentralized exchanges and these protocols. So that's definitely something to look forward to. And for the viewers that are looking to follow along with these updates and just get started trading on Bybit and get involved in the community, what's the best way for them to learn more? Um. We are very, very active on Twitter. We have uh, more than uh, 120,000 followers on Twitter, and we tweet all the time. And and we are also uh, not uh, above, you know, all the crypto memes. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you can kind of like basically the best way to get uh, any uh, timely updates is on Twitter. But like, we also, uh, you know, we have uh, multiple uh, communities on, on Telegram as well. So it's very easy to find and our blog uh, have the latest news in kind of like, um, you know, uh, press form as well. And yeah, uh, there's of course our website, um, simple, uh, by And, uh, yeah, you can find us almost everywhere on the internet, YouTube, uh, uh, uh you know, you, you name it. Awesome. Ignis, I will leave all of those links in the description box below as well. All the best with Bybit moving forward in this amazing run we're having right now. And let's follow up in the near future. Excellent. Thank you so much for having me, Ashton. It has been a pleasure.